Palo, and this is Tulare Western's Teacher Feature. <laughs> Still Miss Quelo. I have not legally changed my name, even though I got married two years ago. Almost. You know, I just haven't gotten around to it. Then COVID happened. I don't want to go to the social security office. It's a whole thing, but it's all right. Mind you all. I am in room 505, my sad, lonely, empty room. I miss you guys. I miss having students. Um, it's my fourth year teaching, my second year at Tulare Western. Um, before coming to Tulare Western, I was in Porterville at the Military Academy. Um, the story of why I got into teaching isn't one of those of, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. Um, actually a lot of the adults in my life and influential people in my life told me I should be a teacher and I didn't do it at first because I didn't want to do what everyone told me to do. It kind of sounds like a teenager, right? You guys don't know anything about that, right? Um, and then... I started working with the youth group at my church and I fell in love with it. I realized, hey, I actually kind of like hanging out with high school students and I think I can make a difference with them. So all of my life teen peeps, you guys can credit yourself with me becoming a teacher. I teach mainly biology. Um, that's what my degree is in. I graduated from Fresno State a couple years ago now. I'm not going to say how many. I don't want to date myself. Um, yeah. So my favorite part about teaching at Tulare Western, um, remember when I said I didn't want to be a teacher and then I finally decided that I wanted to, um, I knew that I wanted to teach at Western if I was going to teach anywhere and that's because Western has hands down the most school spirit of any school I've ever taught at, visited, been a part of. It's just everywhere. Um, I was a three sport athlete when I came here as a student. My brother came here, my dad came here, it runs in our family. Um, we're a big Mustang family. I'm proud to be a Mustang, always will be. Um, whether it's just kind of the personalities of the students walking around on campus, um, at lunchtime just going out and feeling all the energy and listening to the music and how pumped you guys get at rallies. And one thing I noticed as a student here and as a teacher that it doesn't always matter, I don't know, how our team is performing the student section always is loud and it's awesome and everyone's happy to be there and something that's really special about western and i think it speaks to the school spirit and all the adults too on campus is it doesn't matter what you like or what you into there's there's something for you like there's a club for everyone there's always something to do at lunch if you are bored or you feel lonely just look a little bit harder because there's something and someone that you can connect with on campus because it's just so versatile and i think that's super special that everywhere um, or there's a place for everyone, no matter where you come from or what you look like or what your interests are. So if you need help finding that, ask your teachers. We'll try to get you guys hooked up with um, like-minded people. If, you've, if you're new here or you just have a hard time making friends, please, please, please reach out because there's something for everyone. And I love that about this place. So something that I've been doing over quarantine that is new, um, not exactly a hobby, but I became a mom. So I get to hang out with this little guy every day. His name is Gentry. We're about to take our bath. This is what our afternoons and nighttime looks like. Hi, little routine. So another member of our team is my husband, Brian. Hello. Hey. So in all seriousness, hobbies that I have um, spent time doing during quarantine other than hanging out with this guy is I've been cooking a lot. Uh, what is your favorite thing that I've made over quarantine? It better be a hard thing to answer because I make <laughs> such good food. I would have to say the chicken cordon bleu. That's it? Anything else? Best dessert. Around Christmas, I went kind of crazy and made a ton of desserts. I see the cheesecake that you made. I made two cheesecakes. The lemon one or the pumpkin one? Pumpkin. 
The problem is, is I don't like to reuse recipes. So even if he likes those two things, he'll probably never have it again. At least not made by me. Sorry about it. <laughs> If I can be anyone other than myself for a day, I really like being myself, <laughs> but if I had to choose, I would choose my dog Tucker because he's super lazy and no one makes him do anything. Um, like no one makes him go outside or go for a walk unless he wants to. He gets loved on all day. He gets constantly like petted and his hair played with and he just gets to sit around and people do everything for him and that sounds pretty great and he's super adorable so everyone loves him I feel like that would be the life but then again I would only want to do that for a day because I think I would get super super bored but I could see like a Saturday after being productive all week a Saturday just like tuckering out being tucker that would be fun. everyone that's a little bit about me be on the lookout for next week's teacher feature <laughs>